Hi everyone, my name is Brittany and I'm a marketing strategist here at 352 and today I'm going to be talking about what social network is best for your business. First, I want to clear up a common misconception and this is that if the social network exists that your business needs to be a part of it. This simply isn't the case because more isn't always better when it comes to social networking. You don't want to get yourself into a position where you're in over your head and you're trying to be part of all of these social networks, but you're not really doing a great job at any of them. The best thing for you to do is to keep in mind that you want to be where your users are. You know, you don't necessarily need a Pinterest account unless that's where your users are, you know, living when they're online. So if you're a lampshade design company, you know, Pinterest and Instagram might be a really great social network for you. If you're a company like 352, we're a digital agency that does marketing and web development. Our users are mostly on places like Facebook and Twitter. So that's where we've really concentrated our efforts. You may see us elsewhere, but most of the content we post are on those social networks. So keep in mind where your users are, do some research to find out where they're really spending their time when they're online, and make sure you have a great presence in that area. So with that, you want to set realistic expectations whenever you're entering a new social network. So talk to your marketing team, talk to different people in your company, and decide you know, what they're going to expect out of you entering this social networking venture. You know, having a thousand likes on a Facebook page maybe isn't as good as having 500 likes, but having lots of interactions with the people that um, are using your Facebook page. So if you have a lot of people commenting on the content that you're posting, sharing that content, and interacting with you, that's much, much better than having a page that has tons and tons of likes, but no interaction from your customers. And last, do or do not. There is no try. You know, this just goes back to all of the points that I've already stated. You don't want to put in half the effort whenever you enter a social network. It takes a lot of time, money, and resources to maintain a social networking uh, website for your business properly. So you want to make sure that you have those time and resources so you can put in the effort needed to really be successful here. If your customers are coming to your Facebook page or Twitter page or whatever it may be to ask questions and interact with you about how your services are working for them and things like that, you need to make sure you have the people to respond to those questions and inquiries as quickly and as effectively as possible. So just keep in mind whenever you're entering any sort of social network, you need to have the time and resources that are going to be required and you want to be where your users are. Thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful.